everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today's video we are doing a clean with me. I started off by going downstairs and making the bed. Um, normally I make my bed kind of like towards the afternoon because I am not a morning person and I just don't get it done in the morning. So lately I have been making it pretty early. After I've had my coffee I'll go downstairs and I'll make the bed and then I'll start some laundry. And I've been really enjoying doing that. I feel like I am more productive when my bed is made. Do you guys feel that way or is it just me? <laughs> I actually never used to make my bed. It was It's kind of like a fairly recent thing. But now that I have been making my bed in the morning versus towards the afternoon, I just feel more accomplished even when I really haven't done anything. <laughs> so got that done. And then started my load of wash while I was downstairs. We have a full house for another few weeks. So I am flying through dishes and flying through laundry. And I do at least two loads of wash a day and get them hung out on the line twice a day as well. So I was actually getting the house cleaned. Like I was like power cleaning through this um, because my sister was dropping her kiddos off, my nieces and nephew, and she's got three kids. And so... My husband was at work and I was watching five kids by myself. I, it was, I've never really watched um, that many kids by myself before. Normally I have help with my husband. Um, so I wanted to take on the challenge because I knew he was at work and we did really good. But wow, was I overwhelmed. Um, so if you are a mama and you've got like four or five kids, you guys are incredible. Um, I mean, like all moms are incredible, regardless of how many kids you have. All moms are incredible, but I was just, I couldn't even eat anything because normally my kids are, you know, very needy when they see me eating. So if I have a snack, they want the snack, even though they have their own snack in their hand, if that makes sense. So I did not eat any meals the whole day because I honestly just couldn't take a, like a step away to go have something to eat or else it would just be taken. So... I was struggling. I was struggling. Thankfully, I was able to call my mom. My mom was able to come over and she helped me out. I was so thankful for that. But why I was telling you that we had a full house of children was because, um, that was a bad angle. Anyway, um, this house was spotless. And then I had kids from 11 a.m. to 6 o'clock at night. And my house looked like I had never touched it. It was absolutely crazy. And I honestly just did not clean the house for like another two days because I wasn't about it. I was like, nope, we need a moment to relax and take a moment. So I didn't do anything for the rest of the weekend. I just realized I never did an introduction. If you are new to my channel, hello, welcome. I'm very glad that you are here right now. My name is Autumn and I work from home. I stay home with my two littles and I love to create cleaning and organizing content over here on YouTube. I've actually done YouTube for a few years and then I took a break because, well, I was pregnant and I just, I don't know, I just didn't have the motivation, I guess. And I recently got back into it this year and I forgot how much I love making these videos. It really makes my day um, filming these. And actually my favorite part is doing these voiceovers because I love having this one-on-one -on -one time with you guys. And I just love to edit them. I don't know, it's just really fun. So. That's what I do over here on YouTube. I would love for you guys to hang out, subscribe to my channel. I want to get to a thousand subscribers. I'm going to have a huge get give away. I have everything ready for it. Um, so it's going to be a huge one. So I hope that you guys hang out and subscribe. Um, so what's happening here? Because I figured I'd tell you guys. I'm making raspberry jam. Um, I was picking wild raspberries because I live out in the country. So I did some walking around um, outside and we have a bunch of wild raspberries and wild blackberries and they are the absolute best. So I collected for three days to get four cups of raspberries, mush them up, and I am making my own homemade raspberry jam. If you have never had homemade raspberry jam, I, I hope you guys try it because it is my ultimate favorite. It's everybody's favorite. Um, there is something about it. it there, it's so much sweeter and more flavorful than the stuff at the grocery store so good. I really recommend it. So that's what I was doing here. And this is what they look like after the, um, the top of it was the foam. I could have skimmed the foam a little bit better. So there was like a light thing of foam on the top. The foam is obviously edible, but it just, 
doesn't look the prettiest. So that's why it looked like that. But I tried it. It was absolutely delightful. And I think I'm actually going to go pick some more because they are still doing absolutely amazing. So I might pick some more today and maybe make some more because I've been giving them to our family and to our neighbors because I, that's, that is my love language is I love to give things. Um, and so that's what I've been doing. So on that topic, what is your love language? Are you like a gift giver? We are on to the kitchen because this was like the next day. So I cleaned up after making the jam and ended up just cleaning out the kitchen. The pantry was a disaster. So I wanted to tackle that first thing because every time we go grocery shopping or we get something new, we just kind of throw it in the pantry and don't really find a spot for it. So I wanted to put everything away properly, find them homes, and then tackle the rest of the kitchen. Like I said, this was spotless at the end of it. I was so proud. And then it was destroyed in like a matter of eight hours. <laughs> and that is real life. And here I actually have some hot soapy water with a little bit of vinegar and I am just wiping off the jars that I had the jam in because it is a messy process. I always get jam down the sides of the jar and then they get really sticky and gross. So I waited for them to cool off and then I just had some hot soapy water with a little vinegar and cleaned them off so they weren't sticky and they were in perfect shape. Actually, while I'm filming this, I'm going to take note that I need to buy more um, canning jars like for the jam. Because like I said, I just give them to everybody. Everybody I see that's really close to me, I'm like, hey, you need to have some of my jam. It's so good. Um, and then I never get those jars back. So yeah, that's what happens. And I need to go buy some. And I looked at some the other day at the store and they have gone up in price. I feel like they're so much cheaper. Like I want to say towards like January times, not during the summer when everybody is canning. It's just crazy how expensive they get around this time. But in all seriousness, I would love to make like mini samples of my jam and just send them all to my subscribers because I tell you all the time how good they are. And it's just a hobby of mine. That's why you see me making them all the time. I really, really enjoy doing it. And I love how it turns out as well. But I would love to make little mini samples and send them to every one of my subscribers just so you guys could understand, you know, my obsession with making them.
Once the dishes were done, I went to the sink. Yes, the sink was clogged. We don't have a garbage disposal. So when we rinse off um, plates and stuff like that, like I strained spaghetti noodles in this from the night before because we had spaghetti. It just gets everywhere. The uh, sink gets clogged and then I think it's gross, but you know, you got to do what you got to do. I have to physically hand remove all of the like gross gunky food from the sink and take it to the garbage. It's disgusting, but it needs to be done. I would love to have a garbage disposal, but we just never set one up when uh, we first created the kitchen. But I think it's something you can do after too. So maybe I'll look into it because I really don't like the feeling of like the the gross, soggy food. I don't know. It's gross. But yeah, that's what I was doing here is I was cleaning that out, getting all of the food out. And I wanted to give the sink a really good deep clean. And so you'll see me take everything out clean what I could clean and then I filled it with some super hot soapy water and I just let everything soak for a little bit and then gave it a good clean. I also wanted to say because we're on the topic of cleaning sinks it is gnat season like really bad like those little tiny gnats that fly around your kitchen and you don't know where they're coming from. If you didn't know they actually lay eggs in your sink um, in the drain so that's where they're coming from and if you want a sort of way to um, get rid of those eggs before they hatch and create those gnats. I recommend putting a little bit of baking soda in your sink and some vinegar. Don't do a lot of baking soda. I've actually heard um, Jamie from Jamie's Journey actually posted on her stories on Instagram saying that um, her plumber told her to not put baking soda in the drain because it can clog it. And that is true if you do too much baking soda. Um, but if you do just a little bit, say like a tablespoon, and then you do a good amount of vinegar and make sure all of that is broken up, it will not clog your sink. It'll all go down with it. But that's what I recommend doing to get rid of those gnats is just baking soda and vinegar. Do a good amount of vinegar in there for sure. It'll get rid of those eggs, get rid of the gnats. And if you already have the gnats in your house, try doing, because this is what I do, and I, like, I swear by this, um get a little jar and then put apple cider vinegar in there and then some Dawn dish soap or just regular dish soap. And the gnats will be attracted to the vinegar and they end up um, just collecting in the jar and then you can just dump it down the sink. So that's what I recommend doing as well if you have gnats, if you didn't know. And this is what I mean when I said that we were given the sink a good like deep scrubbing and deep cleaning. Um, it takes a lot of water to fill the sink. So I don't ever like fill the sink. Um, I just like to soak the bottom like so the, the wire rack gets nice and cleaned as well. So that's what I was doing here is just making sure that all of the gunk or whatever could be in those grates gets out of it. Um, and a lot of the time I'll take super hot water and I just give like the sink a good to clean on the sides. So you don't really need to fill it all the way with hot water anyway, but yeah. like debating if I should get those um, cleaning gloves that people wear when they're cleaning their sinks or just like washing dishes. I actually read something that um, if you don't wear those gloves, they can actually make your hands age more. I've never really looked too much into it, but I think I might get a pair of gloves um, and see how I like it. 
um, because if it'll help my hands out, then we should try it, right? Yes, I am cleaning out my uh, disinfectant bottle. I actually dropped it on the floor because the lid wasn't twisted all the way on it and it just fell, landed on the floor. Thank goodness for the little rubber thing at the bottom so it didn't shatter. But I figured since it was already on the floor and all of the cleaner was out of it that I should just take the time, give it a nice wash so that way if there was anything sticky on the outside or on the inside, it would just get clean. So that's what I was doing here. And then there was a few other things that did not fit in the dishwasher because the dishwasher was like at max capacity. So I just hand washed them so they weren't sitting in the sink. And I don't really like to hand wash dishes, but it made me feel better knowing that it was done and there was no dirty dishes in the sink anymore. I looked at the um, knife rack here and it was very dusty and then I remembered when we did the kitchen renovation and there was dust everywhere I never actually dusted this so I just used the paper towel or, or the washcloth <laughs> sorry it's like 8 a.m um but I gave it a good you know quick dusting so that way it looked cleaner and it didn't have any um like little dust bunnies on it anymore we actually got this at uh, Walmart a few years ago, and I really, really like it. All of the sets we've ever owned have always rusted really bad, and so far this one is like holding up, and she's like two years old. I've actually been on the hunt for a good wood cutting board, and I got this one for my uncle for Christmas, and I love it, but he told me like there is a certain way that you have to like season it and clean it, and it just, it freaked me out. So I just think it's too beautiful for me to be using and ruining it, so I use it on display. But I have been on the look for a very good um, cutting board, cutting mat, something. So if you have a recommendation for a cutting board that you really like and you've had it for a long time and you just swear by it, let me know in the comments below because I have been looking.
Moving on to the stovetop. This stovetop has seen it all this weekend because um, I actually cooked something on this back burner, the back right burner, and then my brother-in-law didn't know it was hot and accidentally put like a cottage cheese lid on it and it melted to the stove and I was so scared that it would like, I don't know, like leave a stain or something, but I think we got it in time and we scraped up what we could with um, the little like razor things, you know what I mean? Like when you want to get stuff like off counters, I don't know what you call those, Um but we got it up and then I waited for it to cool and then I used the cleaner on it and I was able to get a good amount up. So I went through again just to make sure if there was anything left over that I was able to get it off of the stovetop. And once I was done with that, we are still on to the countertops because the countertops are always cluttered. <laughs> um, yeah, and so I'm working on the coffee corner. While I was tackling the kitchen, I actually had my kids pick up all of their toys that were um, like lying in the living room. I had them pick them up and take all their pillows and bedding and stuff back to the room because they like to bring them out in the mornings when they watch like their morning cartoons. So yeah, they helped me out by doing that. And then I ran the vacuum before everybody came over. And that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, let me know in the comments. Let me know also if you have any other recommendations for videos that you guys would love to see. I would love to do those for you. Subscribe if you're not subscribed to my channel. Give this video a like and comment, and I will see you all in the next video.